In this video, we'll learn about asymptotes, both their definitions and how to determine whether or not a curve has one. So first, let's start with that definition. An asymptote is simply a line that a curve gets closer and closer and closer to. So in this picture, we've got our curve, which is in black, and then our asymptotes are colored in red. So the idea is that as we travel along our curve, we are getting closer and closer and closer to this red line. And as we travel along our curve in this direction, we're getting closer and closer and closer to that red line. So that's the basic idea of an asymptote. Now, the asymptotes that we're going to be most interested in are vertical and horizontal asymptotes. An asymptote can really be any kind of line, but the verticals and the horizontals are the most interesting. So a function has a vertical asymptote if, as your x value gets closer and closer and closer to this number c, so the c is the position of this purple dotted line here. So as x gets closer and closer and closer to that number, your function value is either getting really, really big going off to infinity, or getting really, really big in the negative direction, and going off to negative infinity. So that's how you're going to tell whether or not you have an asymptote. So for example, this function here, f of x equals 2x divided by x minus 3, this has a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Notice that what I'm doing is plugging in numbers that are closer and closer and closer to 3. So as my table goes this way, my x is getting closer to 3. What you can't do with an asymptote is just plug in x equals 3. What you might notice here is that I can't plug 3 into this function because I would be dividing by 0. So the idea here is that I'm trying to understand what happens as x gets closer to 3. I don't know exactly what happens at 3, but I want to find out what happens as x gets closer to 3. And what I'm finding is that my f of x value, in this case, is getting really, really big in the negative direction and in this case, is getting really, really big in the positive direction. So if I were going to graph this curve, it would look something like this. If this is x equals 3, then as x gets closer to 3 from the negative direction, as I approach 3 from the left, what's happening to my y values? Now I'm looking at this chart. These are x values that are really close to 3, but a little bit less than 3. And what I'm finding is that my y values are really, really big negative numbers. So my graph is doing something like this. It's getting closer and closer and closer to this dotted line. There's a vertical line at x equals 3. What about as x approaches 3 from the other direction? Well, now I'm looking at the second chart. These are x values that are clo getting closer and closer and closer to 3, but are a little bit above 3. And what I'm finding is that my y values are getting really, really big in the positive direction. And so that means that my graph looks something like this. So what I can tell here is that I have an asymptote. So from both directions, my x values are getting closer to 3, and my y values are running off to either positive infinity or negative infinity. And I can tell this by making a table of values. OK, what about horizontal asymptotes? Well, same kind of idea, but this time the x value is the one that's going off to plus or minus infinity and then it's the y value that's getting closer and closer and closer to a particular value. So that's the definition of a horizontal asymptote. But let's see how we actually compute it. Let's go back to our same example, so our same function, f of x equals 2x divided by x minus 3. Now, once again, I have two charts of information, but now as I go down my chart, my x value is getting bigger. So instead of getting closer and closer to some value, my x value is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, either positive or negative. So in this first chart, my x's are getting bigger and bigger and bigger in the negative direction. And in this chart, my x's are getting bigger and bigger and bigger in the positive direction. And what am I noticing about my y values? Well, for my y values in this chart, they're getting closer and closer and closer to 2, but a little bit lower than 2. So 1.94, 1.99, 1.999, and so on. Over here, as x gets towards positive infinity, my y values are getting closer to 2, but from above. So this tells me that my graph looks a little something like this. If I draw this dotted line y equals 2, then what I can tell is that as x approaches minus infinity, my y values are approaching 2 from below, so it looks something like that. And then as x approaches positive infinity, my y values are approaching 2 from above, so it looks a little something like that. But on both sides, I have a horizontal asymptote. 
Okay, now let's put all of this information together and get a graph of this function, 2x divided by x minus 3. So we know a lot about this function so far. We know that it has a vertical asymptote at x equals 3, and we also know that it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. Let's find the y-intercept of this function. What happens when we plug in 0? Well, f of 0 is going to be 2 times 0 divided by 0 minus 3, and that's going to be 0. So that means that one of the points on this function is 0 comma 0. And now what I know is that as my x value gets closer to 3 from below, my y value is going down to minus infinity. And so my curve looks a little something like this. Now on the other side of that asymptote, my y values are up here towards positive infinity. But I also know that as my x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, my y values are going to be getting closer and closer to 2. Finally, if I go in the negative direction with my x value, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger in the negative direction, my y values are going up towards 2. So this is a rough picture of what my graph looks like. The intercept, turns out both the x and y intercept, is at the origin, 0, 0. And my asymptotes make the graph look like this.